ME1200 Electromagnetic Theory, Lab 2, Wave Propagation on a Transmission Line, and Standing Wave Pattern. The objectives of this lab are, to observe the effect of a guided electromagnetic wave, on a transmission line, a microstrip in this case, with open termination. To measure the wavelength of the guided electromagnetic wave, on the transmission line using an electric field probe. Please prepare the following equipment for this lab. An ME1200 transmission line board, with an attached electric field probe. SMR short circuit terminations. A 1 meter coaxial cable. A keysight, U2000A, USB 10 MHz to 18 GHz, average power sensor. A PC installed with the keysight, N1918A, power analysis manager, power panel software, and the keysight, IO libraries suite. This is the ME1200 training kit. This is the electric field probe. Transmission line in millimeter scale. Near end. Far end. Screw to adjust E field probe height. SM a connector to the E field probe. SM a connector at far field. Push button to select the microwave source output frequency. Frequency indicator, LEDs. Let's start the experiment by setting up the ME1200 training kit, with Keysight, U2000A, power sensor. Power up the oscillator on the ME1200 transmission line board, with a 5 volts power adapter. Make sure that, the indicator LED on the oscillator, lights up and indicates 2.435 GHz. This shows that, the microwave source is producing a sinusoidal output, with a frequency of 2.435 GHz. Connect the Keysight, U2000A, power sensor to the electric field probe. Launch the power panel software. In the instrument navigator, you should see the Keysight, U2000A, power sensor is connected. Double click to change the frequency of the measurement, to match the output frequency of the oscillator, which is around 2.435 GHz. Move the electric field probe, along the transmission line at 1.0 mm interval, beginning at 16.0 mm. Leave the SMA connector, open circuit. From the power panel software, observed the signal power. Record the value of the power captured, at 16 mm in table 1. Continue the measurement, and record the data in table 1 until you reach a distance of 86.0 mm. Connect the short circuit terminator to the SMA connector of the far field. Repeat the measurement for power captured from 16 mm to 86 mm. Based on the data from table 1, plot the power versus distance on a graph paper, for both open circuit and short circuit conditions. The graph shows that, the voltage magnitude pattern along the x-axis, repeats based on equation 2 in the introduction. The magnitude of the voltage along the transmission, fluctuates from zero to a maximum value in a cosine fashion, based on equation 8 in the introduction, for the open circuit termination. 
the magnitude of the voltage along the transmission, fluctuates from maximum to a zero value in a sign fashion, based on equation 9 in the introduction, for the short circuit termination. The waveform along the transmission line with an open circuit termination, has a 90 degree phase difference from the waveform, along the transmission line with a short circuit termination. Find two consecutive points, where the average electric field intensity is the highest. To estimate the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave, guided by the transmission line. The wavelength calculated for 2.435 GHz, is 68 mm. Use the wavelength obtained, to calculate the propagation velocity. The propagation velocity of the electromagnetic wave, guided by the transmission line, is 0.16558 gigam per second. Repeat the experiment by changing the frequency to 2.585 GHz. Record the data in table. Plot the power versus distance on a graph paper, for both open circuit and short circuit conditions. The wavelength calculated for frequency 2.585 GHz, is 66 mm.